all right what's good youtube is jay here another week another update for call of duty modern warfare 3 we've got a brand new set of stuff to do for the weekly event we've also got this like weed focus event happening right now call of duty's obsession with weed and demons needs to be studied if you complete all this stuff you get this which is pretty cool it glows green i guess it's supposed to be focused around the usage of paraphernalia we've also got a brand new conversion kit out the jack jawbreaker conversion kit i've already unlocked it so we'll be using it for today's video i can't believe we're already on week two of this particular season we've only got six more weeks of weekly challenges left until we're able to unlock the brand new mastery camo which is going to be this i mean it's pretty cool i think the flay one the rotten inferno is by far one of the coolest camels we've gotten in call of duty like ever but this is still pretty sick we've also got a brand new map in pool well i mean it's not really new it's called grow house it's one of the vanguard dlc maps here it is right here grow house 24 7 also got a brand new router today to help with my internet issues my other router was having a ton of problems uh, it, it was just disconnecting and over and over we have probably way too many devices on it it's a router that was sold in like 2011 or 12 i think that's when it first released i was having way too many issues with it me and one of my friends are going over a lot of my tech issues uh but ultimately i just kind of resigned to just getting a brand new router there were some other things we could have looked into related to like the modem and stuff which i gonna still do but with the way my internet plan works now which is basically about a gig up and or i'm sorry not a gig up 40 up and a gig down i just couldn't stand the, the connection issues anymore so i just opted to get a new router i've had any issues so far for the couple of hours that i've been like studying it and playing and playing with it so i'm pretty satisfied so far with the wait and see how things kind of play out for the next couple of weeks because what was happening was i was just randomly disconnecting reconnecting when i'm streaming and stuff and it just made playing and streaming games just absolutely hell also here's the new conversion kit by the way this conversion kit in particular is for the kv broadside which is a modern warfare 2 shotgun if you want to just chill back there that's fine every time i go to like switch weapons it's like i get packet bursted i don't understand why how does that become a thing now initially i thought it was because i had the nvidia ai like frame generation thing also i get a few more frames but to be frank it, like like it's not as bad as it was i've turned it off since then like when i had it on i was getting absolutely abhorrent issues with like stuttering packet loss input lag you name it i was getting it it was bad Okay, we gotta get these guys from back here. I have zero kills right now. They have just been chilling in the back of the map since I joined this lobby. Hope these internet issues are solved. Wow, okay. I hope these internet issues are solved. It just made streaming and making videos and stuff just absolutely unfun, man. It feels like there's always like one issue after the other, especially now that I have a good paying job. It's like I can't keep my money for more than like a week or so. Are they just gonna sit in the back of the map the whole game? Is that, what's happening? I have zero, I'm zero and six right now. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I just need to adapt. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go under the map, try and go around them. I'm actually in a really good mood now. I was going through it today, man. I don't know. I was just like going through like a weird little, I don't wanna say depressive phase because I hate claiming that kind of shit. But today was just not a good day for me, honestly. I was having a hard time just with the day. I was irritated all day. I felt like my blood pressure was up. Can I get a kill? Oh, I feel like my blood pressure was just up really. I I haven't really been eating good the last couple of weeks. I feel just a little sluggish. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Okay, there's a kill finally. Bro, they are just sitting in the back of the map. They are not moving. Like I kind of get it. Like what's the point moving if we're just gonna funnel to them? But bro, we can't get anything going because they just won't move. Well, I'm 3 and 11. I mean, it's better than being 0 and 11 or 0 and 10 or whatever I was earlier. So far, so good, though. No disconnects, no lag, no nothing. We've had probably way too many devices connected to our network. The TV, my computers. I've got my work computer in the back, my laptop for travel. Like, probably just a little too much stuff. I've got a bunch of different equipment. My lights are actually Wi-Fi connected. One of my lamps is Wi-Fi connected. It's just too much shit, probably, for that old router. Oh, my God. They just don't move. They're, they're just sitting in the back. You know, I can play the game. I guess we just waited out at this point. What's the point? I kind of don't like playing Domination sometimes. I feel like people really just don't like moving. They just refuse to believe in taking more than, like, 10 feet forward. It's so obnoxious. Ah. Uh. This thing's crazy, by the way. The moment the shots really start connecting, like, you can see the damage it's capable of outputting. And what I find interesting, too, is getting kills with this conversion kit, which turns the shotgun, by the way, into a battle rifle with only 20 rounds in the magazine. The kills count for long shots, so if you shoot, if you get a kill from 20 meters out, it counts as a long shot. Right there, we got we got a 25 meter kill, and it counts as a long shot for this, because it's technically still a shotgun. So if you haven't done your camel challenges for this Modern Warfare 2 weapon, and you need long shots, this is probably the easiest way to get it, because the shortest ranges count as long shots get these kids bro i don't care 
Gotta get out of here. I will flip these spawns if I have. I'm actually perfectly okay with this. Oh, the game's over. He didn't move that whole game. They just sat in the back of the map the entire time. Oh, but for the gun, here we are. We've got the LR4 flash hider, the Bruin heavy support grip, the Moore's dot sight, the Marquee R7 stock, and then the conversion kit, which is the Jack Jawbreaker kit. Full auto, bullet velocity, damage, gun kick control at the cost of hip fire, aim, walking speed, movement speed, sprint speed, etc. I mean, it's literally turning the shotgun into an actual rifle. I don't know how I feel about the side on it though, so we might switch it up and try something different. But it literally just turns it into an AK-74. <laughs> yeah, that's all it does. Luckily, I did complete all the challenges on this already. It, it, it's a shame that Orion still doesn't look as good as it should. I feel like it just needs to be a little bit faster and maybe just a little bit more colorful. It's just so dark. They were obsessed with making the darkest camels imaginable. Actually, pretty positive. I'm going to look back on Modern Warfare 3 a little fondly. Like, I actually really enjoyed this Call of Duty. It's been one of the more fun experiences that I've personally had in the last couple of years of COD. I mean, I, you know, Vanguard was kind of whatever. I didn't like MW2. I loved Cold War. Cold War is one of my favorite CODs probably ever. That was a really good game. I don't think this game is probably on the same parallel as cold war but in terms of enjoyment i put it up there i have fun every time i get on this game for the most part except when they do updates that literally break the game for no reason like this previous update it just borked everything hello where's he going relax you saw the guy how fast he went out of there he just dolphin dived i'm using gas grenades because there's a challenge to uh get basically like tag people with gas grenades while i have the tag mask perk on for one of the new like we related challenges so you gotta throw gas at people basically uh, wrong He's not happy. <laughs> I know he's not happy. You saw him waving his hands in his face. That guy is not happy at all. Lately, I've been noticing like the left side of my scuff has been like squeaking. I don't know if that's the right word I want to use for it. It's like the plate isn't fully on. Like there's a little bit of space like right in between right here. It's not like that on the other side. When I squeeze it, like you can feel the plate like like split right there. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's broken or not. I don't think it is. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to use it. That just looks insane. Oh my God. Also, I did see that they buffed the AN-94. Relax, buddy. I saw that they buffed the AN-94 in the patch notes. I might need to make a video on it. I two tap that guy. I'm a big fan of this gun. I'm a big fan of it so far. I've seen a lot of people already post the videos like this gun is broken, this gun's OP. The only thing holding this gun back literally is the magazine size. So you only go up to 20. You don't even get magazine options. Fuck you behind me. Whoa, what did I do? He said, fuck you. What's it called? How did I miss that? They're 100% going to nerf this thing. I already know it. We can't have fun anymore, man. The Bass B got nerfed literally like a day or two after its release. It went from being a one-tap fun weapon to literally the worst gun in the game, probably. I guess worst gun in the game is a bit of an over-exaggeration. It's like that lack of a one-shot potential. It's just... Oh. Try to see if we can get some good kills with this thing. I missed every bullet on that guy. Wow. Oh, you know what's crazy? They did like a huge ban wave recently. A lot of people got banned for like having unlock tools and shit. That's why I don't touch that stuff. I don't care. VPNing, whatever, unlock tools, whatever. You will not catch it on my computer. You will not catch me touching it. It doesn't tell what gun it is. It doesn't tell what gun it is. It's like about the conversion kit. Why is he so angry? <laughs> Still alive right now. Oh, there's people right above me. I'm so scared right now. I've seen a lot of people in the comments of all these different banning posts, so saying, "Well, I mean, it's just camels. Why, why, why should I get banned for camels?" I'm like, brother, 
You are manipulating the game's files. Why are you surprised? I don't care if you're the one who paid for it or if you're the one who did it or if somebody else did it. You are literally manipulating the game files. I, I don't understand why it's so confusing that you're getting banned. I can understand at the end of the day, it's not like you're actually cheating. You're just unlocking camels, I guess. But it shouldn't come as a surprise that they're gonna ban you for literally manipulating their game. You're literally getting free content off of them and they're not happy about that. Like, I don't like Activision as much as the next guy, but I also, it fully makes sense that they're banning people for it. Like, it generally isn't a hard concept to understand. I hate Activision probably more than anybody else on the planet. They're one of the worst companies I've ever personally been graced with, you know, getting buying stuff from. Oh, that does. He said, "Oh, that does it." Oh shit. Okay. What is he teabagging me for? What did I do to that guy? <laughs> I just don't understand people's reactions to all this shit, man. You're literally damn near cheating in a way like you literally aren't cheating by just getting camels or whatever i guess i mean you're literally manipulating the game's files like i don't care what it what's your excuse but i also have a big thing like with this like if you're willing to use an unlock tool just for literal camos then at this point i don't i don't trust you like i can't trust you because what's stopping you from wanting to go the next step like maybe you're not just that kind of person or whatever but i just find it hard to believe or i i would just find it hard to trust somebody that does that kind of stuff like i said maybe i'm being a little over dramatic or whatever but i just don't understand why people are surprised when they get banned for manipulating the game literally at the end of the day you're literally getting free stuff off of them of course they're not gonna be happy about that this guy was not happy about me i don't know why the other guy shot my body i'm literally just playing the game man like what do you want out of me Thought I was gonna get that kill, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I don't get it. People have really weird reactions and stuff when they know they've been caught or doing something. There's a lot of people I don't think that are cheating out there. Oh shit. Fuck, I couldn't aim that. Need to get down there. I don't wanna lose to these guys actually. Got my body shot once and now I'm not happy about it. This thing hits like a truck, baby. Where's the next hill? I don't even know where we're supposed to rotate to next. Oh, is it, uh, where is that? Oh, it's over there. We make or break it here. Dude, they're all there. Oh my God. All right, well, GG. Uh, the gun I was using was the KV broadside with the new jack conversion kit thing on. Yeah. I heard you ask, what gun is that? <laughs> uh, it's the, yeah, we, we're trying to go for it right now. That shit is insane. It literally can three tap. I was using slugs on the broadside just to do the challenges and it was pretty fucking good. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That right there is what I call a really nice Call of Duty lobby. Everybody's really chill. And I get it, man. Some people just wanted free camels and stuff in Call of Duty, but at the end of the day, why are you surprised to be honest? Again, I'm not trying to be an Activision defender. I, I get it. Like Activision is a terrible company, but also you're manipulating the game to get free stuff. Like it, it shouldn't surprise you that they're gonna bang you for i will say i do support the argument that there are a lot of cheaters in call of duty right now so to ban people over an unlock tool versus banning the actual hackers that are all like reverse boosting in top 250 cheating in top 250 of like warzone and ranked do you think that's insane they should 100 percent be prioritizing the actual cheaters of the game over unlock tools for camels and stuff but at the end of the day i don't know what you expected man like they're gonna it, it, they don't like people manipulating their game files anyway new conversion gets fun call of duty's still in a weird spot with all the updates kind of breaking the game and stuff my game's still kind of laggy new router feels good though and i haven't lagged out of a game once in the last like four hours of me having it so we're doing good